Don Harper is the oldest of the Harper quads by four whole seconds, who's out to prove she can do it all. Mae Valentine is the smart, kind best friend who's a little quirky, but always there to lend a hand. Here's the full story of Don and May. These two do everything together, from school to sleepovers to trying to find girl time away from Don's three brothers, Nikki, Ricky, and Dickie. I promise whatever you say does not leave this room. Totally. My lips are sealed. Do you mind? Not at all. I love secrets. How about you? I'm all ears. This is ridiculous. But after talking with her mom about personal space for the first time ever, Dawn got her very own room. I call it Aloha Adorable. I love it. It's boy free, chalk free, ah, <sighs> note free. May always knows when Dawn needs to talk. What's wrong? Nothing. Why? Because I know you, Dawn. And when something's bothering you, you make origami animals. That is not true. <laughs> yeah, a little true. Don. All right, a lot true. Even when May has had to be brutally honest, it's because she doesn't want Don to embarrass herself. You can't miss our first school dance. You just have to find a way of going, but not do whatever that was. So it's as bad as I thought, huh? You look like a baby deer being born. <laughs> Dawn, on the other hand, likes to get May involved in her various schemes. Once, they even try to get rich selling homemade jewelry. Uh, well, it took us two hours, but we did it! One down, 29 to go! Occasionally, Dawn just needed a break from her brothers. For once, I'd like to be on a team with anyone whose name doesn't rhyme with Icky. <laughs> so May suggested Dawn join her ballet class for a little time away from the quad. You're right. This is a no-bro zone. So, let's ballet it up. <laughs> we don't really say that. <laughs> oh, poor Dawn. You run around so she got lonely and followed May here. So sad. She couldn't even go two hours without us. Things did get complicated for a minute when each of the quad boys got a crush on May and let her know that she had a secret admirer. Do you mean? Oh, yes. That special guy is going to be at Get Sporty any minute, waiting for you with a hot bowl of alphabet soup. <laughs> he said he'll A, B, C, you there. Really? Let's go. A secret admirer who turned out to be Dawn. If life was like alphabet soup, I'd put you and I together. But it ain't. So I, B, C, N, U. Don, I know it's you. No, it ain't. I'm a dude. This is clearly a dude hat, dude sunglasses. But that is not a dude nail polish. Too much pink. When the quad boys tried to read Don's diary, she and May teamed up to prank them back. So are you going to make more fake diary entries? Uh, absolutely. I know they're going to keep reading it. And if I can't trust the boys, I don't want them to be able to trust each other. Are you sure? Cause this is pretty fun. <laughs> so I shaved my head And by nothing? the looks of it, the pranks escalated quickly. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. I have to go to school tomorrow. What did I do? You know what? The whole fake head shaving plan was mine in the first place. I know what I have to do to make this right. Oh, no, Dickie, no, don't! Wait, Dickie, no! <laughs> I was faking it too. He should have seen that coming. <laughs> May and Dawn have seen their fair share of drama over the years, especially when making reality TV. Yeah. This is the worst birthday party ever. It's his it's fault. fault. It's their fault. You're all at fault. I didn't want any of this, but you were so wrapped up in creating drama for your show that you ruined another one of my birthdays. Oh, and I finally decided who I want to uninvite for my party. Me! <laughs> Fortunately, May's passion came from the fact that she finally earned a spot as the fifth member of the quad siblings. Well, if one of you is too sleepy and you need a backup, 
The fifth quad is always ready. It's not that easy, May. You need a uniform and help. Like I said, fifth quad is always ready. Dawn equally stood out as an ace wing lady when she got May and Miles together at a date to the Renaissance Fair. Uh, hey, Miles, May wants to know if you want to go on a date with her to the Renaissance Fair. Really? You do? I do. You do. I do. I, I mean, only if you want... I do. Oh, cool. 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 Even the closest friends have their differences. After winning tickets to the Elephant concert, May had to push back against Dawn's pushiness and tell her the truth with the truth stick. Uh... <laughs> Everyone knows pickles don't go with peanut butter. Is peanut butter and jelly? I should have been jelly. I see. Well, I'm not going to a concert with someone who can't be truthful. Peanut butter out. Oh, and the boys aren't going either. What? what? Whoa, PB, settle down. <laughs> well, I don't want to go with someone who's so pushy anyway. Pickles out. Wait, scratch that. Jelly out. <laughs> this is so well made. Thank you. <laughs> Dawn and May can't help but work things out. They're the PB to each other's J. I know peanut butter and pickles are over, but will you be my jelly? <laughs> I'll always be your jelly. May has supported Dawn through all the good, the bad, and whatever changes come their way. It hasn't happened to me yet. Maybe it won't happen to you for a while. Oh, good. I was worried just because I have a little bit of hair growing on my legs. <laughs> a little bit of hair doesn't mean anything. Let's take a look. Well, you have to pull down your socks so I can see. I'm not wearing socks. Oh! Oh, no. Uh, this is also confusing and embarrassing. I mean, there's so many boys here, what if they see? They can't see what's not there. Of course! Perfect. I, you know how to do this, right? How hard can it be? And that wasn't the last time Dawn had to put up with some growing pains. Oh, wait, is this gonna hurt? No. Oh. Is that Dawn? No! Oh. Ah, I thought you said that wasn't gonna hurt. Sometimes I'm wrong. Honest mistake. And they've each had to learn to open up like when Dawn was jealous of May spending too much time with her boyfriend. And I promise I will never try to drive you and Miles apart again. Just one question. Is Millie really all that? Girl. Dude! They're never coming out, are they? When Trouble returned to paradise, Dawn was there to be May's number one best bud. Yes, you are! And as cute as a basket of kids! Even cuter! If Miles doesn't want to be around me, I don't want to be around him. I'm going to break up with him. Will you come with me? Of course I will. Yeah, let's hold that as a backup. And let's not forget, Dawn and May share a lot of important firsts. Like when they got their first job to pay for a school trip to Paris. Ugh. Nope, can't do it. Sorry, Bleep Blop, but the helmet stays on at all times, all right? You guys are doing great, though. <laughs> Cheer up, Bleep Blop. Remember, we're doing this for Paris. Bleep Blop. Sad. Dawn was also May's first roommate, even if only for one day before she moved to go to boarding school. Oh, when the dawn comes moving in. Oh, when the dawn comes moving in. Hey, Rumi, surprise! Dawn was a little insistent at first. kind of asocial when meeting May's new roommate. So we should probably do our first before that first, though. We gotta go, Ham Hawk. It's time for bunk bed bonding night. Ooh, I call Tom. Hey, look at that. I can skydive, too. Per usual, it turned out that May missed Dawn just as much as she did. 
And when they went skydiving in the series finale, May waited to jump so she could have one more first with her bestie. I thought you said you were scared. I was, until you got here. Let's do it! As they prepare to jump, there's no doubt that Dawn and May remain the peanut butter to each other's jelly happily ever after. All right, I love you guys on three, right? Make sure to subscribe for more of your favorite Nikki, Ricky, Dickie, Dawn, and May moments, only on Nickelodeon.